the federal government is fining a rogue drone pilot for flying the device over downtown Toronto as crowds celebrated the Raptors' historic NBA championship win and again during the victory parade four days later. Transport Canada says it will serve up a fine of $2,750 to that individual who was not identified following its investigation into the incidents in mid-June. The earthbound pilot broke multiple rules steering the drone within 30 meters of another person and through the controlled airspace of Toronto's skyscraper canyons, which sit within three nautical miles of an airport. The transport department says the violator flew the remote control device, which was not registered, despite lacking drone pilot certification. Transport Minister Mark Garneau says safety is his number one priority and that pilots must never put people or aircraft in danger. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer says a conservative government would not reopen debates on abortion and same-sex marriage, and the Liberals are bringing up divisive social issues to distract from their record. I have been very clear, I will not reopen this debate. I will oppose measures or attempts to open this debate. And Canadians have, can have confidence of that. Uh, a Conservative government will not uh, reopen these debates. We will oppose measures that reopen these types of questions. So my personal views are that all Canadians have inherent dignity, all human beings have inherent dignity and worth, and I will always support uh, quality rights for all Canadians, including LGBT uh, Canadians. Uh, this issue was settled long ago. Uh, it was an open question, and members of all parties had different prisons positions on it. Today, it is the law of the land, and I will always uphold that law. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau responded to Conservative leader Andrew Scheer, saying that Liberals are dredging up social issues such as abortion and same-sex rights to distract from their failed record. Trudeau says leaders have to support all people, those who are marginalized, including women and LGBTQ. The agency tasked with developing a new math test for Ontario teachers said in a report this week that giving teachers standardized tests often doesn't lead to better outcomes for students. Starting at the end of this academic year, new teachers will have to score at least 70% on the test to register with the teacher's college. The progressive conservative government has repeatedly promised to take measures to improve student math scores, which have been declining for a decade across the province, but the EQAO literature review found that while many studies show a positive correlation between teacher scores and student outcomes, it's only weakly to moderately predictive of student performance. In fact, the EQAO said teacher experience, grades from college or university, the number of post-secondary math courses they've taken, and professional math certification courses are all better predictors of student outcomes. Education Minister Stephen Lecce said the government is strengthening the foundation of mathematics primarily through a four-year, $200 million math strategy and updating the curriculum with a back-to-basics approach.